smiley face granny square today. We'll start with yellow and do the circle and finish off with blue to do the square. And then I'll show you how to do the smiley face. So working in the round first and then we'll go into the square. And all you need to know for this is double crochet. With your 5.5 millimeter hook and your worsted weight yarn in yellow, we'll start off with a magic circle. I do have a more uh, instructional video on how to do that that I'll put in the link below. In your magic circle, you're gonna do 10 double crochets. Now the way I like to do this is I will do a chain one, which does not count as anything. And then I will do 10 double crochets into the magic circle. There's one, two, Three, four, five, six. If your little end is getting a little short, just pull on it so you have a little more length to work with. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now grab that little length of yarn on the end here pull on it to close up your circle and then you're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet that you made so here's your chain one and the next one is your first double crochet so go ahead and take your hook and go into that first double crochet into a slip stitch now you should have 10 double crochets into the magic circle the next round you're going to do chain one which for me doesn't count as a stitch and do another one into that same exact stitch. So you'll have two double crochets into one stitch here. Again, that chain one doesn't count as anything. So you'll go around and you'll do two double crochets into each stitch all the way around. So I'll show you how it looks again. You do one in here, and then a second one into that same stitch. Continue that all the way around for a total of 20 double crochets. When you get to the end, if you're unsure, go back and count your stitches to make sure that you have 20 double crochets. And when you've done that, you're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet that you started with, which is right here. Remember, this was the chain one, and so the next one is your first double crochet that you will slip stitch into. For your next round, chain one, which doesn't count as a double crochet or anything, and then a double crochet into that same stitch. And then that's your first double crochet. The next stitch, I will do two double crochets into it. One, and two. you will continue with a pattern of one double crochet, double crochet increase. One double crochet, a double crochet increase. So I'll do it again for you. Double crochet. And then an increase, which is two double crochets into the same stitch. Continue along for a total of 30 double crochets. You should end that round with an increase into that last stitch. Find your last, your first double crochet that you created, which is right here. Remember your chain one, and then here's your double crochet. Slip stitch into that stitch. Now the next and final round with your yellow color, start off with the chain one, 
and then double crochet into that same stitch that you did your chain one in and then you'll do another double crochet into the next stitch and then you will do double crochet increase into the third stitch which is two double crochets into the same stitch one double crochet one double crochet two double crochets one two three four continue that pattern all the way around to the last stitch and you should come to a total of 40 double crochets but before you get to the last stitch we're going to change color so i'll meet you when we get to here as you get to your last stitch you'll have to do an increase so i did one and now you have to do your second one to the last stitch so you'll yarn over and you'll pull through the two but instead of pulling through and finishing with the yellow grab your second color which is a worsted weight blue color here and pull through those last two stitches to finish your double crochet and then slip stitch with the blue into our, into the first double crochet of this round turn it around fasten off your yellow yarn if you haven't already and i like to secure it with a knot and then i will crochet over these ends into the next round so you finished your last round of yellow and this is what it should look like we did a magic ring with 10 double crochets then we did increases all the way around a total of 20 double crochets and then we did double crochet and then an increase for 30 total double crochets and then we did double crochet double crochet increase for 40 double crochets and this next round will start adding the blue and shaping it into a square chain one does not count as a stitch double crochet into the same stitch as your chain one that can be hard to identify so let me show you more clearly how that looks so it's this stitch right here that you can see that you, i'm going into which is the one you will double crochet your first double crochet into but we're actually working on a corner for very first so we'll do two double crochets chain two and then do two more double crochets into that same stitch one and one more two so this is our first corner first let's continue along one edge so you'll do a double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet next single crochet five times one two three four and five and then we'll mirror that half double crochet and double crochet in the next stitch we will do the corner which is two double crochets chain two two double crochets there's our second double crochet chain two and then two more double crochets and that's your corner next we'll do a double crochet half double crochet single crochet into the next five stitches half double crochet double crochet and do that whole process that we just did two more times to finish off our last two corners so we go into the next corner reminder that it is two double crochets chain two two double crochets into the same stitch into the next stitch we'll do a double crochet half double crochet next and then single crochet into the next five stitches after you've done your five single crochets you'll do a half double crochet double crochet your final corner which is two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets into the same stitch, 
finishing up this round with your last half double with another half double crochet double crochet and then you'll do five more single crochets and finish off this round with a half double crochet double crochet and slip stitch into your first double crochet i'll meet you right before the slip stitch so finish the five single crochets half double crochet crochet and now i will slip stitch into the very first stitch which is right here That completes your first round with the blue. Into the next round, chain one, doesn't count as a stitch, double crochet into that same stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And then into every corner, you're gonna do the same thing that we did in the first round, which is two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So I'll show you this once. One, two, chain two, two more double crochets. Now, I mean the next few stitches, you will do double crochet along every single stitch until you get to the corner. And then into every corner, you'll do the two double crochets, chain two double, cro two double crochets. I will show you the first stitch because it is tricky to see and often missed. You kind of need to pull this over to find that very first stitch. So this is where you'll put your very first double crochet into. And then you'll continue along putting double crochet into every stitch. The last one is this stitch right here that you'll put a double crochet into. And then you'll do your corner. And then when you get to this side again, you'll see that this one will get hidden from your corner. And so you'll need to pull it over to make sure you start your first double crochet into this stitch here. I'll meet you right before we get to the slip stitch at the end. In the last step, you will slip stitch into the first double crochet. You should have a total of 17 double crochets on each side. It's always good to check just in case and count that you have 17 double crochets on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Then you'll get into the corner. Double check your work, otherwise, you'll have to go back and frog your work and start over again. This will ensure that you have a good shape, evenly spaced out. For the final, for the next round with your blue yarn, chain one which is the final round you'll chain one and double crochet into that same stitch which is going to be right here and then you'll go ahead and do the same exact pattern as you did in the previous round you'll do a single double crochet into every stitch around and you'll do your corner space which is two double crochets chain two two double crochets double crochet all the way down to the next corner and do your corner stitches all the way around to the next corner and so on and you should end with a total of 21 double crochets per each side so again go back and check your work but each side should have a total of 21 double crochets i'll meet you when you get back to here and we'll slip stitch to that first double crochet coming up to the last stitch here do your last double crochet slip stitch into the first double crochet you started with Fasten off. Next, we'll work on the smile. We're going to start on the eyes. Grab some black yarn and cut a sort of short length. Start from the back side or the wrong side of your work, which looks like this. This is the right side. With your yarn end that you fastened off previously to your left side on your left hand, starting in the back, you will find where your center is and you'll see these two stitches above your center. I like to start my eye right after that side there pull it through so that you have a little bit of length to work with to tie it off going up put in your first eye and i like to double the eye just to make sure let's go through the same two stitches and then you'll tie it off in the back just make a double knot grab another length of yarn of your black to do your second eye thread your darning needle and the same thing here's your center and you have the two stitches in the middle Pull through so you have a little bit of length to work with in the back. Make sure that you have it around the same area that you had the other side. Tie it off again in the back. Have a longer piece of black yarn for your mouth. Thread your needle. 
from the back forward, pull the length of yarn through and then back towards the back. I like to go ahead and tie double knot, double knot the back to secure it. Come back through that piece of the And to keep the mouth down, I just secure it with the yarn by going up and down. I do this every other stitch. This helps keep the smile in place. You should have something that looks like this, and then tie it in the back to secure it with a double knot. I recommend the next video you watch is how I connect the two squares, and also how to do the basic block of a granny square. Because in the end, what I'm going to do is put these together into a piece of clothing.